There'll be girls across the nation that'll eat this up Babe, I know that it's your soul, but could you bottle it up? Hey guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope and I'm wishing a wonderful week from now. This is another Milagros Mondays vlog and I'm actually want to talk about Milagros because something that has come up in my life and for those who don't know, Milagros is just, it's a Spanish word for miracles. So I'm basically just talking about miracles, but <clears throat> I'll, I'll be Spanglishing in the vlog. So just bear with me. But this has been something huge in my life and <clears throat> Milagros obviously are always happening to us. Uh, Course of Miracles is very clear on this topic that it's uh, a shift in perception that we choose to perceive something with love instead of with our ego's mind, with fear, with a fearful mind. And milagros occur all the time. They're very natural to our way of being, except that we have forgotten that they're, they're a natural state. And not only that, but when they're not occurring, it means something has gone wrong. So instead of being in our miracle mindset, we're actually in <clears throat> our wrong mindset. So we're not really allowing ourselves to receive <clears throat> and we're blocked off from our natural state of love, hence why the milagros are not flowing. So I think that the opposite of milagros are what I just like to call as a cute term, self-made milagros, which means that self-made milagros are not real milagros. So miracles are really something that occur very naturally, but we have a potential to try to get in there and meddle and create our own miracles. Um, it usually involves some kind of our own manipulation or we ask for something and instead of trusting and releasing that we know that it's going to come, we try to make it happen. Either we try to make it happen in a particular way or we try to make it happen sooner than it's supposed to happen. In other words, we just do a lot of meddling and really we get in our own way. <clears throat> so I'd like to caution you against self-made milagros. I know me and my girlfriends talk a lot about this. We just talk about like, you know, is this is this something really natural that's coming from a divine place? Is it part of the natural order or is it something that I'm pushing and pulling to make happen? So it feels different. So here are my tips so that you know <clears throat> how you're actually in a state of milagros, in a state of miracle where you're open, everything's flowing, or if you're actually manipulating and getting into a place of making your own milagros happen. It's not the same thing. They're never as good as the real thing, by the way. So <clears throat> hence why I would like to caution you. Check your thoughts. So check if you're feeling anything like, if you're thinking anything like, not happening fast enough why hasn't it happened already why hasn't he called me back uh, why hadn't they called me back why haven't they offered me a job um, why am I not good enough to receive why haven't I lost the weight already so any thoughts like that any feelings any thoughts of frustration or impatientness or it's not happening because that quickly ends up making us feel like we have to make something happen. So if we ever have any thoughts like that, which I know those are thoughts that I have been become very aware of in myself, where I'm thinking like, okay, why well, hasn't happened already? Um, maybe if I do this, then it will happen. So any thoughts that bring up frustration for you and patience, anything that makes you kind of feel like the result will be better than the now is another one that's huge. Because quickly, whatever thoughts that you're thinking are going to dictate the way you're feeling about something. So once you start feeling your thoughts and you were thinking something frustrating, you're going to be feeling frustrating. And as soon as you go into that space of like something not working out or frustration or impatience or <clears throat> comparison or whatever the feeling is, you know, like how come it happened sooner last time it's not happening now, you're going to really block yourself off from the milagros. And what, what ends up happening is you end up going into self, let's make my own miracles mode. So you end up trying to try to make things happen. It's not natural. When things are happening naturally, when milagros are just flowing and you're not in let's make my own milagros mode, you feel at ease. You feel complete is a huge one for me. I feel like I'm not lacking anything. So I feel like I'm completely content with what's happening I know for sure that I'm not manipulating anything. So I can just relax and open myself and whatever comes in, I know, you know, it's come in because I'm just happy. But if whenever I start feeling like, oh, I'd be happy if this happens or I'd be happy when this happens or if I get this job or when I, this money comes or when I finally get this jewelry award, whatever it may be, if I go into like <clears throat> that mode, if I feel myself there, I know that I'm in a place of lack. And when you're in a place of lack, <clears throat> You're not in a place of love because love is completely complete all the time. So if you're in a place of lack, then you're definitely potentially getting yourself into a place where 
you're going to create some self-made milagros. So think of it. If you feel like you're not complete without a man, you're going to try to force the man. Complete without a job, you're going to force the job. Complete without the perfect purse, you're going to force the purse. Whatever it is that you feel incomplete with, you're going to force it. So I think that's a huge one for me that I know that when I'm not in a place of lack, I know that everything is flowing. So as a recap, check your thoughts. <clears throat> See what you're thinking because however you're thinking will tell you how you're feeling. So if you're feeling, this is huge, relaxed, at ease, complete, then you definitely know you're in a place where whatever is coming to you is coming to you as a, a part of a natural order. It's occurring naturally. There are no self-made milagros in your life because that happens sometimes and you get kind of worried worrisome about it so I know sometimes my girlfriend says wait but I'm not sure is this actually a miracle am I forcing it so for you to be able to tell the distinction is for you to check in how you feel so if you're feeling relaxed at ease and complete you're definitely in a place where you're open to milagros and there are no self-made milagros in your life you're flowing which is a wonderful thing so I hope you enjoyed this week and I hope to see you on Inner Ambiance Facebook page that would be great um, also, if you would like to participate in Fun Fridays, I would love to hear from you. You can email me at innerambience at gmail.com. Thanks. Bye.